Today we're going to look at osmosis, and we're going to use our friend SpongeBob here to help us out. So if we take SpongeBob and we place him in a beaker of some solution and leave him there for a little while, and when he comes out, he looks like this. Well, what's happened to SpongeBob? Well, SpongeBob has lost water. Water has traveled out of SpongeBob, and that means, since water moves from high to low concentration, that SpongeBob had a high water concentration and the solution had a low water concentration. And so when we're talking about solutions and osmosis and we're comparing them um, across a membrane, we would say that the solution SpongeBob was placed into was hypertonic and SpongeBob was hypotonic in this situation. But on the flip side, if we put SpongeBob into a solution and SpongeBob comes out looking like this and he's swelled up with water, well, that means that water traveled into SpongeBob. And that means that the high water concentration was on the outside in the solution and that SpongeBob's tissues and cells had a low water concentration. And so that time, this time, SpongeBob is the hypertonic solution and the solution in the beaker is the hypotonic solution. And so to summarize all of this, when you're comparing two solutions across a membrane, because you can't have a hypertonic solution or a hypotonic solution all by itself, you're comparing it to something else. The hypertonic and hypotonic solutions, comparing them to each other, the hypertonic, like excessive, it has more solutes and the hypotonic solution has less. That means that the hypotonic solution has a higher water concentration and the hypertonic solution has a lower water concentration. And since water moves from high to low concentration and those solutes are blocked by the membrane, water is going to move from the hypotonic to the hypertonic side. Isotonic solutions are the same on both sides of the membrane. So that means you're going to have no net movement of water. There'll be movement back and forth, but it's at equilibrium already. And that's just a quick recap of osmosis.